Hello. Today we will solve some exercises on the polar coordinate system. Before answering these exercises, it's a good idea to review basic concepts given in the previous lecture, like plotting points in the polar plane, converting between polar and Cartesian coordinates, graphing lines and circles, and testing for symmetry in the polar plane. Suppose we have a point with polar coordinates r theta and Cartesian coordinates x, y. Recall that r is a directed distance of the point along a ring. It makes a directed angle theta from the polar axis. In converting between Cartesian and polar coordinates, we have the following formulas. First, we have x squared plus y squared equal to r squared. Second, we have uh, x equal to r cosine theta. Third, we have y equal to r sine theta. And lastly, we have tangent theta equal to y over x. To help in conversions, you may construct a figure similar to the one on the right. In testing symmetries of polar curves, we can do the following. In testing symmetry about the polar axis, we can replace r theta by r negative theta or negative r pi minus theta. In testing symmetry about the pi over 2 axis, we can replace r theta by r pi minus theta or negative r negative theta. And in testing symmetry about the pole, we can replace r theta by negative r theta or r pi plus theta. In using these tests, we, we check if an equivalent equation is obtained. Now, it is recommended that you try solving these items first before looking at the solutions. If you want to do this, you may pause the video first, then proceed to the next slides after you have solved the items. I'll wait. Oh, we are back. Let's discuss the solutions to the exercises. For the first item, consider the point with Cartesian coordinates negative 2, 2 squared of 3. Give polar coordinates r theta of the point that satisfy the following conditions. Number one, r and theta are both positive. Number two, r is negative while theta is positive. Number three, r is positive while theta is negative. And number four, both r and theta are negative. First, we recall the conversion equation r squared equal to x squared plus y squared. Using the given values, we have r squared equal to negative 2 quantity squared plus 2 squared of 3 squared equal to 16. For the first case, take r equal to 4. We want to solve for a positive value of theta satisfying the following trigonometric equations. So you have cosine theta equal to x over r equal to negative 1 half and sine theta equal to y over r which is equal to square root of 3 over 2. Based on these equations, we want to find a positive angle theta whose terminal side is in the second quadrant, and that angle is theta equal to 2 pi over 3. Hence, one polar representation of the point is 4, 2 pi over 3. For the second case, we can take r equal to negative 4. Solving the trigonometric equations, we have cosine theta equal to 1 half and sine theta equal to negative square root of 3 over 2. From these, we can take theta equal to 5 pi over 3. Hence, another polar representation of the point is negative 4, 5 pi over 3. For the third case, we can take r equal to 4. Solving the trigonometric equations, we have cosine theta equal to negative 1 half and sine theta equal to square root of 3 over 2. From these, we can take theta equal to negative 4 pi over 3, which gives us another polar representation of the point, which is 4 negative 4 pi over 3. And for the fourth case, we can take r equal to negative 4. Solving the trigonometric equations, we have cosine theta equal to 1 half and sine theta equal to negative square root of 3 over 2. 
From these, we can take theta equal to negative pi over 3. Hence, another polar representation of the point is negative 4, negative pi over 3. Note that for the first exercise, the polar coordinates satisfying the conditions are not unique. It is possible to find other values of theta by adding or subtracting integer multiples of 2 pi.